<laughs> okay. All right. Congratulations on making it to the 2021 Spelling Bee. We've got 12 speakers today from 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Uh, we'll introduce each one of you as you take your spot up at the microphone, but first, let's go over a few rules. Uh, you will be in the spelling bee until you misspell a word. People can be disqualified if you refuse to spell or if you refuse to go up to the microphone when it's your turn. No unsportsmanlike conduct. So no throwing punches, guys. It's just a friendly competition. Um, you cannot, this is probably the biggest problem. When you start spelling, you can't change a letter if you have to restart. So if I were spelling cat and I said C-T, I mean C-A-T, I would be out because you can't change a spelling that you've already started, okay? You can go back and start again as long as you haven't already put in a wrong letter. And you can also ask questions, which I strongly recommend. Ask me questions like use the word in another sentence, ask for the definition of the word, ask what part of speech it is, like is it a noun, a verb, an adjective, because that may help you learn to spell it as well. You can ask me if there are any alternate pronunciations for the word, and you can ask what the language of origin of the word is, because we all know that words from certain languages, like French or Spanish, might have particular spelling idiosyncrasies, like silent letters and things like that. Okay, so don't be shy about asking for a repeat, a definition, or any of the other things that I said. All right? You guys ready? Okay, here's a question, Karina. Ah, that's just what I was going to say. When we call you up to the microphone, you are allowed to take off your microphone when you spell. I mean, sorry, take off your microphone. Did I say take off your microphone? Okay, don't take off your microphone. Take off your mask and you can spell, put your mask back on. So you're wearing them in the chair and as you approach, but you can have them off while you spell. Okay, any other questions? Okay, one last thing. When we reach the end of the spelling bee, um, when we reach the end, everybody is in as long as you're not, you haven't misspelled. At the end, if we get down to just two spellers, the only way you're out is if the person after you spells the next two words correctly. They have to finish the round you're on and they have to spell the next word for the next round correctly. Otherwise, both spellers, or three, or four, or however many went out in that round are back in, okay? Make sense or not? Yes? Okay, you guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna introduce each one of you as you go up to the microphone and uh, take a minute so that people get a chance to see your face. And, um, is there anything else? Okay, if you need to adjust the microphone up or down for your height, please do that so you're loud and clear. All right, when you, when you get your word, the procedure is to say the word, spell it, and say it again, and wait for us to say that's right or that's wrong. Like if it were cat, you walk up, I give you your word, you say cat, C-A-T, cat. We say you're right. very easy words. Here we go. And feel free to use them. Okay, so Gabriel and Kevin. Gabriel and Kevin spell cat. Just so you know, I will use the word that 
sentence before you have to start, but that's fine. Our next speller is Isabella Platz. Okay, pull the microphone more toward your mouth. Here you go. Do you want to take your mask off to spell? Okay, this is Isabella Platz, our second speller. Isabella, your word is train. Wayne loves to wave at the train as it goes by. Train. Train. T-R-A-I-N. Train. That is correct. Our next speller is Colton. This is Colton Weinzettel, our third and final speller from the fifth grade. <laughs> Colton, your word is sport. Because the weather was so mild, Sazda decided to sport her new dress at school that day. Sport. S-P-O-R-T. Sport. That is correct. Okay. Um, um, all of you, if you could speak up a little bit more and be sure to aim the microphone right at your mouth, okay? All right. Moving on to the sixth grade, Aiden, you're first. Would you like to pull your mask down? Our next speller is Aiden Londo. Aiden, your word is eel. Nikki was afraid to swim in the lake because her brother told her he'd once seen an eel in the water. Eel, E-E-L. That is correct. Isabel. Our next speller is Isabel Rudnicki. Isabel, your word is fans. The fans erupted into applause and cheering after their quarterback threw the winning touchdown. Fans. Fans, F-A-N-S. That is correct. Once again, I'm going to ask all of you to please speak up when you spell so the people listening on the live stream can hear you well. Our next speaker and the last for the sixth grade is Nora. This is Nora Ruffing. Nora, your word is tall. Zelda was the only one tall enough to see over the fence and find out where the ball went. Tall. T-A-L-L. Tall. That is correct. Are you working? Are your words smeared a little bit? Okay, I'm kind of having a hard time reading some of these. Okay, moving on to the seventh grade, and we're going to begin with Isabella. Next speller is Bella Bloom. Bella, your word is better. After taking her medicine regularly, Adeline started to feel better. 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 B E T T E R. Better. That is correct. And that's what I mean by speaking nice and loud into the microphone. All right, Ethan. Our next speaker, um, you want to take your mask down too, Ethan? Our next speller is Ethan Larson. Ethan, your word is hit. Harry hit the ball with all his might and headed toward first base. Hit. H-I-T. Hit. That is correct. Our next speller is Karina. This is Karina Pitzel. You're going to love your word, Karina. Your word is peanut. Lucy double-checked the packaging to make sure the cookies did not contain traces of peanut. Peanut. P-E-A-N-U-T. Peanut. You are correct. And moving on to our eighth grade spellers, we'll begin with Tristan.
Sorry. <clears throat> this is Tristan Hatton. Tristan, your word is bite. Mm -hmm. Chester hoped there would be time for a quick bite before the movie started. B-I-T-E. Bite. That is correct. Aubrey. Our next speller is Aubrey Henriksen. Aubrey, your word is noon. During the summer, Willow was hard-pressed to get out of bed before noon. Noon. N-O-O-N. -O -O -N, noon. That is correct. Our final sp speller and final for the eighth grade is Jace. This is Jace Roberts. Jace, your word is gummy. After accidentally dropping the carton of eggs on the kitchen floor, it took Brett an hour to clean up the gummy mess. Gummy. Gummy. G-U-M-M-Y. Gummy. That is correct. So we mm. will move on to a, a few, a uh, little bit harder list of words for round two with everybody still in. I think I'm going to adjust your microphone so it isn't so tight, so you can move it up and down more easily. I noticed some of you couldn't move it. All right, round two, beginning with Gabriel. You got it, there you go. Gabriel, your word is Canada. People from Canada have a subtle but delightful accent. Canada. Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A. Canada. That is correct. Isabella. <laughs> Isabella, your word is bison. Yellowstone National Park is an excellent place to spot a bison, as the most important herd in the U.S. lives there. Bison. Bison. B I S O N. That is correct. Colton. Colton, your word is dangerous. Swimming with sharks can be very dangerous depending on the species. Dangerous. D A N. G-E-R-O-U-S, dangerous. That is correct. Aiden. Aiden, your word is pluck. Lissa very much wanted to pluck the roses at the park, but her mother insisted that she leave them so everyone could enjoy them. Pluck. P L U C K pluck. That is correct. Isabel. Isabel, your word is squid. The giant squid can be found in all the world's oceans, but it's very rare to see one alive. Squid. Squid, S-Q-U-I-D. That is correct. Next, Nora. Mm. 
Nora, your word is Frisbee. Early names for the flying disc known as the Frisbee were the flying saucer and the Pluto platter. Frisbee. Frisbee. F-R-I-S-B-E-E. -E. That is correct. Bella. Bella, your word is teeter. When she first started taking point lessons, Misty used to teeter on her toe shoes, but now she's a famous ballerina with excellent balance. Teeter. Teeter. T-E-E-T-E-R. Teeter. That is correct. Ethan. Ethan, your word is rallies. Parvati hopes her school soccer team rallies before the time runs out. Rallies. Rallies. R-A-L-L-I-E-S. Rallies. That is correct. Karina. Karina, your word is pastry. Sybil always knows where to find the most delectable pastry. 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 P-A-S-T-R-Y. Pastry. That is correct. Tristan. Tristan, your word is coveralls. The skilled car mechanic wore coveralls at work to protect his regular clothes. Coveralls. C-O-V-E-R-A-L-S. That is incorrect. The correct spelling of coveralls is C-O-V-E-R-A-L-L-S. Aubrey. Aubrey, your word is ponytail. Ariana's high ponytail is her signature fashion statement. Ponytail. Ponytail. P-O-N-Y-T-A-I-L. Ponytail. That is correct. Jace. <coughs> Jace, your word is clatter. With her baby napping, Cecile tried to put away the clean dishes without letting them clatter. 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 C L A T T E R. Clatter. That is correct. <laughs> All right. So you guys are you guys are on YouTube right now. Ready to go on? All right. Round three with eleven spellers still in. Gabriel. Your word is snout. Eager for breakfast, Wilbur the pig happily stuffed his snout into the trough. Snout. Snout. S-N-O-U-T. Snout. That is correct. Isabella. Your word is tumbling. Simone is as breathtaking at tumbling as she is in all of the other gymnastics events. Tumbling. Tumbling. T-U-M-B-L-I-N-G. That is correct. Colton. Colton, your word is cradle. After an hour of rocking the baby in her arms, Amina was finally able to move the baby to his cradle. 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 C 
R A D D L E. Cradle. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling of cradle is C R A D L E. Aiden. Your word is firefly. Jamal felt that summer hadn't really begun until he saw his first firefly. 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 F I R E F L Y. Firefly. That is correct. Isabel. Your your word is humor. To humor his fussy two-year-old, Liam performed his elephant imitation for what felt like the 80th time that morning. Humor. Humor. H-U-M-O-R. That is correct. Nora. Your word is mention. Suzette was thrilled that her report on the benefits of recycling got a mention in the mayor's speech. Mention. Mention. M-E-N-T-I-O-N. That is correct. Bella. Your word is spoken. Nada ended the interview with a spoken gesture of appreciation for everyone's time and followed up with a thank you email later that afternoon. Spoken. Spoken. S-P-O-K-E-N. Spoken. That is correct. Ethan. Your word is bridge. The Pont Neuf, meaning new bridge, is now the oldest bridge over the River Seine in Paris. Bridge. Bridge. B-R-I-D-G-E. Bridge. That is correct. Karina. Your word is pinpoint. Egyptologist Sarah Parkak is able to pinpoint the location of ancient ruins using satellite imagery. Pinpoint. Pinpoint. P-I-N-P-O-I-N-T. Pinpoint. That is correct. Aubrey. Your word is slate. The old house's roof is made of slate, which is very pretty, but would be very expensive to replace slate. Slate. S-L-A-T-E. Slate. That is correct. Jace. Your word is plush. When she tried on the expensive jacket at the designer store, Annette realized she had never before felt such plush velvet. Plush. Plush. P-L-U-S-H. Plush. That is correct. And that ends round three. We go into round four with ten spellers still in. Should we just keep on from here then? All right. Beginning round four with Gabriel. Your word is whimper. Frightened by the storm, the puppy began to whimper. 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 W-H-I-M-P-E-R. Whimper. That is correct. Isabella. Your word is bracelet. Though the gems were really colored glass, Hetty's favorite piece of her grandmother's jewelry was an Art Deco bracelet. 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 B-R-A-C-L-E-T. 
sorry, that is incorrect. This correct spelling of bracelet, B C T. So um, I'm going to pause and change the battery in this, and we'll begin again. Okay, how's that? All right. Yeah, sorry, I know I cut out when I was spelling the correct spelling of bracelet. Um, B-R-A-C-E-L-E-T. Okay, um, Aiden. Your word is inwardly. Though she had to keep a straight face during the meeting, inwardly, Heidi was laughing. Inwardly. Inwardly. I-N-W-A-R-D-L-Y. Inwardly. You are correct. Isabel. Your word is mobility. After his soccer injury, Lewis did physical therapy to increase his mobility. 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 M-O-B-I-L-I-T-Y. That is correct. Nora. Your word is Eddie. Audrey dropped leaves into the stream's eddy and watched them swirl. Eddy. Can you repeat the word? Eddy. Can you say it in another sentence? Yes. The current of air running contrary to the main current caused an eddy in the swiftly moving water. Eddy. E D D I E. Eddy. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's E D D Y, the correct spelling of eddy. Bella. Bella, your word is fanged. Tamika recalled her nightmare of a fanged beast under her bed with horror. Fanged. Fanged. F-A-N-G-E-D. Fanged. That is correct. Ethan. Your word is bow. The huge bow just barely missed landing on mom's new car. Bow. Could you say the word in another sentence, please? Yes. The lowest bow of the tree broke off during the storm. Bow. Bow. 
B O W E, bow. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct smelling spelling of that type of bow is B O U G H. Karina. Your word is cautioned. The students were cautioned never to go in the nearby forest at night. Cautioned. Cautioned. C-A-U-T-I-O-N-E-D. Cautioned. That is correct. Aubrey. Your word is accuse. No matter how hard Cinderella worked, her stepmother would always accuse her of shirking her chores. Accuse. Accuse. A-C-C-U-S-E. Accuse. That is correct. Jace. Jace, your word is drowsy. The drowsy cats settled into their favorite napping spots. Drowsy. Drowsy, D-R-O-U-S-Y, drowsy. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling of drowsy is D-R-O-W-S-Y. Okay, we lost four people in that round. So going into fi round five, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six spellers remaining. Okay. Um, do we want to move or do we want to keep going? Seems like it's going okay at this level. All right. All right, beginning round five, Gabriel. All right, Gabriel, your word is scoff. Though her parents might scoff, Ashanti dreamed of being an actress. Scoff. Scoff. S C O. F, F, scoff. That is correct. Aiden. Your word is opposite. With such opposite tastes, the couple had a difficult time decorating their new apartment. Opposite. Opposite. O P P O S I T E. Opposite. That is correct. Isabel. Isabel, your word is instrument. Lisa Simpson's musical instrument of choice is the saxophone. Instrument. Instrument. I N S T R U M E N T. That is correct. Next speller, Bella. Bella, your word is blissfully. Taisha entered the store blissfully, knowing that she could pick out five new books for her birthday. Blissfully. Blissfully. B-L-I-S-S-F-U-L-L-Y. Blissfully. That is correct. Karina. Your word is activists. The student activists were unwavering in their efforts to save the planet from pollution. Activists. Activists. A-C-T-I-V-I-S-T-S. -I -I -S -S. Activists. That is correct. Aubrey. Your word is commute. 
Justin was willing to commute to work in order to live on such a lovely farm. Commute. Commute. C-O-M-M-U-T-E. Commute. That is correct. And so all six remain in for round six. Gabriel. Gabriel, your word is cocoa. After playing in the snow for hours, the children were grateful for warm cups of cocoa. Cocoa. C-O-C-O-A. Cocoa. That is correct. Aiden. Aiden, your word is nutrients. Bailey started eating avocados for the nutrients, but it turns out they're also delicious. Nutrients. Nutrients. N-U-T-R-I-E-N-T-S. Nutrients. That is correct. Isabel. Your word is scarcely. Between homework, ballet class, and play practice, Tamar scarcely had time to eat dinner. Scarcely. Scarcely. S-C-A-R-E-L-Y. Uh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. S-C-A-R-C-E-L-Y is the correct spelling of scarcely. Bella. Bella, your word is stretcher. Everyone clapped with joy when the last person was found alive and brought out of the rubble on a stretcher. 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 S-T-R-E-T-C-H-E-R. Stretcher. That is correct. Karina. Your word is layers. A budding naturalist, Irving enjoyed tracking the forest wild animals to their lairs. 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 L-A-I-R-E-S. Lairs. Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling of lairs is L-A-I-R-S. Aubrey. Your word is mustard. Strong brown mustard is the best condiment for a bratwurst. Mustard. Mustard. M-U-S-T-A-R-D. Mustard. That is correct. We have four speller spellers still in to begin round seven. It is, which is rare. One left in each grade level, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. You guys are representing your classes very, very well. Um, I think this page looks pretty good. Okay, let's begin with Gabriel. We'll introduce you to these last four again. Our last standing fifth grader, Gabriel Fowler. Gabriel. Your word to start this round is cruel. The oppressed people finally rose up against the dictator's cruel policies. Cruel. Cruel. C-R-U-E-L. Cruel. That is correct. Aiden. Aiden, your word is goblins. When goblins stole her little brother, Sarah went into the labyrinth to save him. Goblins. Goblins. G O B 
B-E-L-L-I-N-S, goblins. That is correct. Bella. Bella, your word is unnoticed. Gish was disappointed that in the excitement of the first day of school, her new haircut had gone unnoticed. 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 U-N-N-O-T-I-C-E-D. Unnoticed. That is correct. Aubrey. Aubrey, your word is lento. Ms. Landowaska pointed out that the passage was marked lento, but unfortunately, Giselle kept rushing through it. Lento. Is the music going to be something? Yes. The musical director said that they must play in lento or a slow and deliberate manner. Lento. Lento. L E N T O Lento. That is correct. I'm sorry, I forgot to reintroduce the rest of you in that round. I will do it this round since all four of you are still in for the eighth round. Beginning with Gabriel. And once again, last remaining fifth grader, Gabriel Fowler. Your word to begin round eight is Scandinavia. Maya wondered why countries in Scandinavia always seem to be at the top of the happiness rankings. Scandinavia. Scandinavia. S-C-A-N-D-I-N-A-V-I-A. Scandinavia. That is correct. Aiden. Our last remaining sixth grader in the competition, Aiden Londo. Aiden, your word for this round is opus. Mozart's first opus, featuring several violin sonatas, dates back to when he was between six and eight years old. Opus. Opus. O-P-A-C-E. Opus. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling of opus is O-P-U-S. Bella. Bella, your word is pedestrian. I'm sorry, our sole remaining seventh grade speller, Bella Bloom. Pedestrian. Only a pedestrian can access the streets in the old part of town, which are still cobbled and extremely narrow. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. P-E-D-E-S-T-R-I-A-N. Pedestrian. That is correct. And Aubrey. Aubrey is our sole remaining eighth grade. Speaker Aubrey Henriksen, your word for this round is snorkels. The divers were excited to use snorkels to explore the reef up close. Snorkels. Snorkels. S-N-O-R-K-E-L-S. Snorkels. That is correct. And so we are down to three spellers going into round nine. Beginning round nine with Gabriel. Gabriel, your word is lullaby. When Emma looked down into the baby's still open eyes, it became clear that the lullaby was not working. Lullaby. Lullaby. L U L L. A B Y lullaby. That is correct. Bella. (laughs) 
Bella, your word is Fortran. Although Fortran was developed in the early 1950s and first ran on an IBM 704 vacuum tube computer, it is still used today for certain kinds of scientific computing. Fortran. Can you put it in a different sentence? I sure wish I could. <laughs> Can I tell you what it means instead? Yes. Okay. A Fortran is a computer programming language that resembles algebra in its notation and is widely used for scientific applications. Fortran. Can you repeat that sentence again? Yes. Fortran is a computer programming language that resembles algebra in its notation and is widely used for scientific applications. Fortran, capital F-O-R-T-R-A-N, Fortran. You are correct. I'd never heard of it before either, Bella. That was a first for me. Okay, Aubrey. Your word is tangents. The conversation had so many tangents that the girls never settled the central question, which was which toppings to get on the pizza. Tangents. Tangents. T-A-N-G-E-N-T-S. Tangents. That is correct. And so we will go into round 10 with the same three speakers. Gabriel. Gabriel, your word is expression. Sometimes Ian's grandfather would use an expression that Ian couldn't even begin to figure out, like, that there isn't going to steam much of a potato. Expression. Expression. E X P R E S S I O N. Expression. That's correct. Bella. Your word is violin. The legendary Guneri violin played by Niccolo Paganini lives in a museum in Genoa, but it is still loaned to musicians to be played on certain occasions. Violin. Violin. V-I-O-L-I-N. Violin. That is correct. Aubrey. Your word is semicolon. The writer Elmore Leonard argued that you should never use a semicolon in dialogue. Semicolon. Semicolon. S-E-M-I-C-O-L-O-N. Semicolon. That is correct. And so we go to round 11 with all three of you still in. All right, Gabriel. Gabriel, your word is patent. The lawyer maintained that the statement by the witness was a patent fabrication. Patent. Patent. P-A-T-E-N-T. -E patent. That is correct. Bella. Bella, your word is incantations. The wizards muttered incantations until a mysterious glowing rain began to fall from the sky. Incantations. Can you put it in a different sentence? Yes. It took Harry and Ron longer to figure out the various incantations than it did their friend Hermione. Incantations. Incantations. I-N-C-A-N-T-A-T-I-O-N-S. Incantations. That is correct. Aubrey. Your word is ventured. The explorer Thor Heyerdahl ventured across the Pacific from South America to Polynesia on just a balsa raft. 
ventured. Ventured. V e n t u r e d. Ventured. That is correct. And so all three spellers remain in for round twelve. Gabriel. Your word is feta. The feta crumbled on the Greek salad gave it just the right note of salty richness. Feta. C can you say the sentence again? Yes. The feta crumbled on the Greek salad gave it just the right note of salty richness. Feta. Feta. F-E-T-T-A. Feta. That is incorrect. Feta. The correct spelling is F-E-T-A. Bella. Bella, your word is proverb. A famous Japanese proverb runs, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Proverb. Proverb. P R O V E R B. Proverb. That is correct. Aubrey. Aubrey, your word is indecipherable. Dora brushed away the dust, but the inscription beneath the ancient statue was still indecipherable. Indecipherable. I N D E C I P H E R A B L E. Indecipherable. That is correct. We go on to the next round. If by chance, um, Gabriel, if they both spelled their word this round, all three of you would be back in in the next round. Okay? They've got to spell this round correctly. If they both spell them wrong, you would be back in. Okay. Uh, Bella, your word is podium. As he made his speech, George was glad no one could see his shaking legs behind the podium. 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 P-O-D-I-U-M. Podium. That is correct. Aubrey, your word is Aztec. In 1790, workers doing repairs in Mexico City discovered a massive calendar stone that had been created by the Aztec. 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 Capital A-Z-T-E-C. Aztec. That is correct. And both of you go on to round 14. Bella, your word is laboratory. Elbert's mother told him that experiments with explosions should be conducted in a laboratory, not in the kitchen. Laboratory. Laboratory. L-A-B-O-R-A-T-O-R-Y. Laboratory. That is correct. Aubrey. Aubrey, your word is sinister. There was something sinister about the way Gia's brother handed her the drink and suggested that she take a sip. Sinister. Sinister. S-I-N-I-S-T-E-R. Sinister. That is correct. Bella, your word is runes. The ancient Viking comb was carved from an antler and covered with runes. Runes. Can I have a definition, please? Yes. It um, is characters of the alphabet relating to the ancient Scandinavians, carved like carved letters. Runes. R-U-I-N-S. Runes. I'm sorry, the correct spelling of runes is R-U-N-E-S. Aubrey. Aubrey, your word is ancestors. 
On Dia de Muertos, Mexican families gather to remember their ancestors and often make offerings to the souls of the dead to encourage them to visit the gathering. Ancestors. Ancestors. A-N-C-E-S-T-O-R-S. Ancestors. That is correct. Please stay there. If Aubrey spells the next word correctly, she will be the spelling bee champion. If she does not, Bella is back in. Your word is convulsive. The convulsive movements of the sparrow caught in the netting made it hard to free the bird, but June managed to do it gently. Convulsive. Convulsive. C-O-N-V-U-L-S-I-V-E. Convulsive. That is correct, and you are the winner of the 2021 Spelling Bee. <laughs> All right, so first place this year, like last, is Aubrey Henriksen. Second place goes to Bella Bloom. And third place to Gabriel Fowler. Let's give all of them a nice round of applause. Put it to it in front of them. You want to go help her? All right. Miss Frank and Miss Leyline are now going to present you with your medals and trophies. So. Okay. So first, we'll get everybody their medals, huh? Okay, so if you can come up and um, have them present your medal to you, I'll call off your names. From the fifth grade, Gabriel Fowler. Yeah. Isabella Platts. <coughs> Colton Weinzettel. From the sixth grade, Aiden Londo. Isabel Rudnicki. Nora Ruffing. From the seventh grade, Bella Bloom. Ethan Larson. Karina Pitzel. From the eighth grade, Tristan Hatton. Aubrey Hendrickson. And Jace Roberts. And now, Ms. Frank will present the trophies to our three winners. In third place, from the fifth grade, Gabriel Fowler. In second place, from seventh grade, Bella Bloom. And our champion for the second year in a row in the Black Duck Spelling Bee, eighth grader Aubrey Henriksen. Congratulations to all of you, and I would like you to stay for a picture. And I believe that ends the spelling bee for this year. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you to everybody who watched the live stream.